Well, hello, Papper people. My God, it's nice to see you guys. Hey there, my name is Jason. Welcome to my channel, The Linky Lefty 27. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that right now. Woo, skeered heads ass. Will you be offering a Sleep HQ data review once it's officially released? Looks like Sleep HQ will be more user friendly than Oscar. I'm pretty sure I, for one, would be interested. Now, what the hell, what are we talking about here? All right, if you guys are not familiar, there's another CPAP channel called CPAP Reviews. A guy named Nick runs it. Nick and Adam have created a new platform called Sleep HQ. Now, people are saying it's better than Oscar. I love Oscar. Oscar is beautiful to me. It's like, it's like living art. I love it because it's functional and it, it's perfect for what I do. I find it to be very user-friendly, but I've heard from this guy and I've heard from a couple people I've done PAP data analysis with they say it's also user-friendly. And these are people that use Oscar. So I wanted to figure out, is this thing really user-friendly? And how can I apply this to my business? He is talking about, will you do pap therapy analysis with it? What is he talking about? So this is my trash website, AXG Sleep Diagnostics. If we scroll down, we see pap data analysis. And uh, you know what? This is a hot seller. People love it. I've helped a lot of people work through their problems with this. So shall I go ahead and compare Sleep HQ to Oscar and potentially piss off Nick who has a much better social media following than I do. He does it like a champ. Am I gonna piss him off and potentially have him send people after me like angry murder hornets? Yeah, let's give it a shot. But first, let me mention one other thing if this doesn't curry favor. Truth be told, you, Dr. OSA, deserve endless thank yous from all of us whose lives have been positively affected by your tenderness resilience, and skillful professionalism. He cured my ED. My pap therapy analysis cured this man's erectile dysfunction. I move peepees. Can Nick move your peepee? <laughs> now here's Oscar's uh, front page. And in the other corner, we have Sleep HQ. Now Sleep HQ, to be fair, is still in testing. So it's not even done yet. And even though I'm acting like it's a complete product. It's not. So they were actually asking for things to make it better. So that's really what this is all about. Um, this is to Nick and Adam. Uh, things that I feel would make it much better. And for you guys, it's a direct comparison of Oscar to Sleep HQ. So let's go ahead and show this. This is like the landing page. This is really just uh, Wednesday, March 23rd. But the first thing is, what about getting data into this? So the data import I found to be a little difficult. Now, I did follow Adam's advice before he did anything. There's a video that Adam, who I'm guessing is the, the primary coder for this, um, walked you through exactly how to do it. You open up your SD card, there's several files, and you can actually pinpoint what dates you wanna do based on this data log set. I did all that. It took forever and it eventually failed. So I was like, what the hell? But then it like completed. So I was like really confused, but it took a really long time. It took. Like I actually shut it down and came back the next day. Then I saw that, yeah, it was all done. So that's how long it can potentially take. When he did it, it, it was really fast. So there's some bugs in there that those, those I'm, I'm pretty confident will get worked out. Now this is uploading, Sleep HQ is uploading to the cloud, to, to a hard drive somewhere else. Now if we go over to Oscar and we do a CPAP import, I don't have any, anything in there, but it'll say choose folder, boom. Like if I had one in there, I would just hit yes and it would already be done. And that's even if I had like a year's worth of data, it's pretty dang quick. So, but this is all local, it's saving to a local drive. Okay, let's go back to HQ. That's the download. Download takes longer on this. There is a benefit to that at the end. Okay, now we just really wanna look at the data, right? So let's go ahead and explore data. Now I did uh, March 23rd, that's the night I used it. I used some trash settings. But this is more or less what Sleep HQ looks like. Now people are saying this is more user friendly. Let's go ahead and check that out. So I see some stuff here. Oh, it's tagging a hypopnea right there. Now it doesn't really show it, in my opinion, all that easy. You have to look for the H, kind of turn your head, but I mean, you can see it. So it's tagging this as a, hy as a hypopnea. Now I wanna scroll to the left and to the right, but I can't do that at this point. So, I mean, you, I can, let me, let me back up. I can, but it's not that easy. So if I wanna look at this a little closer, I can go like this and zoom in more. And go, oh, well, look at that. Isn't that interesting? But now I wanna zoom out. How do I zoom out? Now, on, um, on Oscar, I, I pushed the down arrow, but 
down arrow on this makes it go down. So I'm going to hit Command down. Uh, no. I'll hit uh, Option down. I'm on a Mac, by the way. Let's get back up there. Option down. Nope. Uh, so I don't know what to do. Um, space down. I got nothing. Control down. No, that doesn't do it either. So I don't know how to back out other than hit this reset button. I hit that and it takes me back out, but now I have to zoom back in to see what I wanted to see. So there's that. Now, if I hit this guy, maybe let's try that. No, up, down, nope, down still does that. So I just want to scroll. So I, I, I toggle this window. This is like the explore button. And now I have to uh, left click and I drag and it'll if I drag to the right it moves the whole thing that way and if I I'm still holding down on the, the left click button you can drag that way so I would say not real user friendly in that way and if I want to zoom in I'm totally cool Let, let's zoom in a little more whoops see I'm I forgot now I have to toggle this if I want to zoom so back to the out the, the magnifying glass and now I can toggle and go in closer I want to go back out Ah, there's no easy way. I have to hit this and it takes it all the way back out. Maybe there's an easier way and I'm just missing it. Um, but let's go ahead and compare that to Oscar. But first, right now is an excellent time to mention that this video, this channel actually, is sponsored by CPAPsupplies.com. They have a complimentary RX service where if you need a prescription from your doctor to purchase from them, they will seek it out on your behalf. So you have to do no legwork whatsoever. They also have free shipping on all of their orders. They have a 30-day mask guarantee. If you hate the mask you order from them, you can go ahead and send it back and get a different mask, try out a different one. They have no prescription required for masks. Basically, you buy them in parts and avoid that. And you have a 30-day price guarantee. If you found a better deal on internet.com, you can go ahead and say, hey, what's up with that CPAP supplies? They have a great, easy to navigate website. And the best thing about it is you can use Coupon code LEFTY20 and get 20% off any order. How fantastic is that? Please use the sponsor of this channel and the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com, whenever you're buying any CPAP-related item. Let's get on with the video. So let's go daily view. Remember, I was on the 23rd on that day. I already had this pulled up. So there's that same hypopnea. I want to left and drag. And oh, I didn't, I didn't zoom enough. Well, I can left-click and zoom smaller. Now I go, oh, I zoom too much. I can hit the down arrow and zoom back out. I can click the right button on my mouse, zoom back out. I can left click and zoom in, or I can left hold and drag and zoom in. Uh, I'm gonna say Oscar is definitely more user friendly in terms of this. Okay, let's head back to Sleep HQ. Nick, don't be pissed, I swear to God. I'm just, this is, come on. So now uh, they actually have these arranged in a way I really like. So that, that's cool. Pressure on top, flow rate, leak rate. Great. All, all those are in there. Um, largely don't care about a lot of this stuff. So these are good. But what if I was like, you know what? I would really like the flow rate to be on top of the pressure. Can I move? No, I can't move that up. I don't see any other way to move this. Like there's no, it's pretty clean dashboard, but there's, there's really nothing there to move. But Oscar, if I'm like, I want to move the pressure above the flow rate. Oh, nope, I want them back. Oh, this is taking up too much room. I would really like other channels in there. Oh, this one, my event flags, I don't need to have it that high. You can really move all these around. You can, you can drag this guy, make this window big or small. Uh, it's hard to say that this isn't more user friendly. You also have a calendar here. So if I want to look at a different, by the way, I've been using that iBreeze, so I don't have a ton of data on this card. But if I wanted to look back and see uh, when did I use it last? It looks like just for a brief hot second there. I can, I can do that. I, I can scroll that way. If I go to Sleep HQ, I have to, let's see, can I open this up? And does it show? It does. So we have like a little dot of there's data there. And it should be just that brief time period. So that's cool. You can toggle that way. That's, that's actually pretty neat. That'll, that'll work for me. So they have a little dot if there's data on this one. With an Oscar, it's just highlighted as blue. Very cool. But also, let's, go, let's take this a step further. I want to make notes about how my sleep is going on this. There's really no place to import notes. If I go to Oscar, I can type in here notes, and I can say, this night was awesome, or whatever. 
And that's like your own little journal that you can keep. It really makes it easy to keep track of what you actually did on that night. Did you use a full face mask? Did you use a nasal mask? Did you use a chin strap? Did you tape? It just, it's an easy place to keep track of all of it. So as far as importing data, it's easier to import an Oscar, but with Sleep HQ, you have to consider you're, you're importing it to a cloud. So not, not really fair because you know, local versus it has to transfer. That's tough. Um, as far as ease of navigating data, like this is easy. Look, I can scroll through like really fast. And when I'm doing PAP analysis, I actually do scroll through this fast because look, I'm not trying to say anything weird, but my eye is very trained towards scrolling through this stuff quickly and stopping and finding it. If I were to try to do that with Sleep HQ, you know, we start at the beginning of the night. I have to scroll. Whoops, jeez. Yeah, so I have to scroll very carefully. I have to put it on that. Then I have to whoop, whoop, whoop. It's not very smooth. I, I would definitely like some left, right button functionality there. So here's where Sleep HQ does something freaking amazing. I am looking at this and this is this goes back to the original question. Will you be offering data review once it's officially released? As of right now, when I do a PAP analysis with someone, we have to coordinate a time to get together. I send them a Zoom invite, I hop onto the computer, they invite me to view their data through their computer. Um, it's, it's actually, it's a fairly easy process and I need it anyway, for the most part, because I like to interview people, find out what's going on and, and get the little, the nuance of their particular sleep that really, really dictates uh, where our conversation goes and, and uh, options to make their sleep better. So with that, I mean, that, that's a part I, I do need to speak with people, but every now and then people just want to wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And they just want to, hey, can I show you the data? You give me a couple tips and I'm on my way. So let's head back to Sleep HQ. I have this night and I'm like, hey, Jason, can you look at this night for me? And I'm like, sure. And they're like, well, I can't find a time because I just don't want to talk to you. I don't particularly like you. I can hit share and I can copy this link and then send it to someone. So I've, I did that with myself and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Right here, this is the email I sent to myself. Get the whole thing in there. I can just click this link and it opens up just that page. So you see, I don't have that dashboard anymore. See the difference? This is me logged into my account. This is me looking at my own account, but that's all I can look at because that's all I was invited to look at. Within this, I have the exact same functionality. I can zoom, I can explore. So this is, if this had the same, I'm gonna say user friendliness as Oscar, this is a hell of a tool. I can just look at a night or they can send me a, links for a couple nights and I can go ahead and look through that data. That's phenomenal, that's freaking cool. If we could get Oscar and Sleep HQ to marry each other, that would be phenomenal. Right click and share that date. Woohoo, baby, now we're talking. So let's go back and answer the question. Will you be offering Sleep HQ data review once it's officially released? In its current form, I probably still would do it, but I'm gonna tell you, it is gonna be at that currently painful to go through a day. Looks like it'll be more user-friendly. I highly disagree right now. I don't think it's user-friendly at all when compared to Oscar. Oscar is by far more user-friendly. But yes, I would love Sleep, Sleep HQ to implement some of those changes. I think the more platforms available, the better. The ability to share that data is wonderful. You can share it with either me, you can share it with your physician. They're not gonna look at it, <laughs> but at least you can try. And that's really all I've got for you at this point. Um, let me know. I would love to hear from literally anybody. Am I missing stuff? I know we have stuff like this, the date range summary review. I don't, I don't care about that stuff. Um, I find it largely useless. Oscar has that too. You can go into like the statistics page and more or less get the same thing. Overview, it'll have like the whole bar graph that like back here when I was using this machine more, like you know, whatever. It, it's not helpful at all. This is not helpful. So with the specific items that I discussed, am I being fair with it? And am I missing things? Am I, am I missing something like where, no, 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 you, you actually can scroll through the data like you did with Oscar. Well, let me know, I've been looking for it, I can't find it. It is now a bad time to mention that there is another software developer that is working on creating something similar to this that also will hopefully have a feature where it'll actually tell you about your wave, your, your respiratory rate pattern 
and give you tips on how to resolve those problems. That will be interesting. All right, guys, that is my comparison of Sleep HQ in its current form. It is still basically testing, so don't put a lot on this. It's just in its current form right now versus Oscar, the pros and cons of each. Oscar, if you guys, I actually just asked the developer as I was thinking of this video, is there a way to create a cloud system where you can share your data with people and send it that way? Ooh, that would be amazing. By the way, didn't mention this, Oscar, you can also import oximetry into the program, which is helpful on some levels, not all, but it is pretty helpful at times. All right, guys, let me know what you think of this in the comment section down below. Please check out the description box for ways you can help this channel out. Now, obviously, I am your favorite thick sleep tech, so if you have not subscribed to the channel at this point, please do so. That includes you, Dad. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Not that I'm hurt by that or anything. Also, if you are interested, I have another channel. It is called Snappy's Electric Jams. I do a bunch of dumb crap on there, to be quite honest, but one of the main things is I've got an electric car, and so I do a, a little electric car stuff. I do a little bass plan. Nothing fun, nothing interesting. <laughs> But it's another video you can use to waste your time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye. Why does your mask smell like my feet? Pick up some Mask Bright today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Matthew Lilly, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, Patricia Espalong, Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi and Stuart Hetherington, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys.